eh, romper esquemas, eh, romper comportamientos tradicionales para poder implementar eh, nuevas estrategias y nuevas alianzas. Obviamente también el reto es generar alianzas importantes entre el eh, sector en el, el privado, entre el sector público y entre este tipo de organizaciones para generar inercia. Most of the entrepreneurship in Mexico is doing by people that, that uh, didn't finish high school and, and they don't have the enough money to go to the university. So we need to take care of people that are already are entrepreneurship. Most of them, because they don't fi uh, they don't uh, have the opportunity to get a job, so need to put uh, they need to put a business. When they start to work, they start to see that to have a business is better than to have a job. And maybe our own students could be people that start to help uh, these uh, entrepreneurship that they don't have enough money to to have the opportunity that people that go to, to university. There is a vast population, especially in rural, rural areas, where the opportunity is not there and they need to create these micro enterprises that can hire one or three people. A uh, lot of them are out of the system, but every year there are more people coming in which will go out of the system because not everybody is going to college. So introducing micro entrepreneurship programs in technical institutes, in high school, uh, in the, especially in government public high schools will be key because a lot of the, the typically private high school students go to college, public high school students are not going to college. For them this micro enterprise becomes very critical. Por una parte tiene que haber cierta regulación en pie y esa, genera, esa regulación lo que permite es que a través de instituciones se generen mecanismos que permitan acelerar la forma en la que el mercado empieza a desarrollar, empieza a crecer y empieza a innovar. Poder generar dinámica y desde la parte de la parte pública poder generar también los ambientes ideales para que estas discusiones sigan llegando a cabo y obviamente se siga fortaleciendo eh, la empleabilidad del futuro y, y los jóvenes emprendedores del futuro.